Hi guys, it's Grace with Grace Gets Gastric. Today is Tuesday, December 11th, 2018, and I'm here today for my week 49 post-op VSG update. So to start, as always, with stats, again, my name is Grace. I am 5'8", 28 years old, and on January 2nd, 2018, I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, or VSG weight loss surgery. My highest weight ever recorded was 280 sorry, <laughs> was 354 pounds in May of 2017. I was required by my insurance to do a six month medically supervised weight loss diet. And over the course of those six months, I lost 35 pounds. So my starting weight day of surgery was 319 pounds. Last week, I came at you with a weight of 202 even. And this morning I weighed in at 199.6. So that is a weekly loss of 2.4 pounds, a loss since surgery of 119.4 pounds, and a loss since my highest weight of 154.4 pounds. So, um, I don't know if you caught that, and for those of you who are on my Instagram, you guys will have already known, I've gotten so many comments today from all of you, um, but I did reach my next milestone, which was to be below uh, 200 pounds. So I am now officially in Wonderland. I do hate that term, but I don't hate being here. Um, so yeah, I, I actually hit Wonderland yesterday. Um, I was at 199.9 and I weighed twice and I was still there, but I didn't want to <laughs> jinx it because I knew I had my, my weekly weigh in today. So I was like, you know, it's not uncommon for me to fluctuate up sometimes even as much as two pounds. So I'm not going to say anything in case I have to come at you with a different weight, but I was even lower today. So Yay! I'm really excited. Um, I actually just booked my massage that I, um, was my reward for hitting my last milestone, which was 202.75 or 203.75, 75% of my excess body weight loss. Now I need to decide what I'm doing for, for this milestone. I am leaning towards getting a actual, like, camera, um, for taking videos as opposed to just my phone. So if you guys have, like, a good camera slash video taking device let me know if you have any recommendations i haven't really started looking at um but i'm thinking that's what i want to do because i want to do something like a little bit bigger for hitting this milestone because outside of my final milestone this is really one of the biggest ones the next one i don't even know what my next one is i have to look um i know one of them is is half of my body weight loss for my highest weight. Um, which is like in the 170s or something. Anyways, so yeah, uh, I'm also uh, currently 0 0.6 pounds away from being in the out of the obese category and into overweight as far as BMI. So um, I'm at 199.6 and I have to be, I think at either 199 even or 189.9. I think it's 189.9 to be officially Sorry, 198.9, um, not 189. But I'm super close to no longer being obese. So that's freaking insane. Um, yeah, it's a mind trip, you guys. I, you know, <laughs> it's sort of weird. You know, it's like when your birthday happens and you wake up and you're like, I feel no different. I feel no older. And it's kind of like this, you know, like you always think that you're going to feel so different when you're in Wonderland and feel the same. I mean, I'm happy about it. Don't get me wrong. But I've never been a particularly like effusive person. And I'm not someone who gets like I get happy and excited about things. But I don't know. My mom thinks I'm emotionally dead inside. So maybe that's part of it. I don't have any issues with my parents, you guys. That's definitely not part of my weight problems. Anyways, other things that happened this past week, I got to meet the lovely Downsizing Danielle. I'll go ahead and link her channel above and below. She does make YouTube videos. She's also on Instagram. She is a delight. She's so sweet. She lives in Florida. Um, and so she was visiting Seattle. No one ever visits Seattle, which is such a bummer. I was telling her this, that more people need to come visit. Um, but it was really great because she was here with her family. And so um, she was awesome and able to kind of sneak away for a bit. We went and got coffee. I did the weight loss surgery thing of having a protein coffee at Starbucks. And uh, it was just really nice to catch, you know, to, to talk with her in person because I mean, we would watch each other's videos. You kind of get to know someone and then you see them. And I was like, wow, you're, you're taller than I thought because like you see someone sitting down and you don't realize how tall they are. Um, and it's just really nice to meet weight loss surgery people in real life. It's nice to meet anyone that you have this like community, sense of community with from online 
in real life. I've mentioned before, this is not my only online or my first online community. So I have met a number of other people in real life that I had originally met online. And it definitely just like adds another layer to things. And generally when you do have these online friendships, they are, you know, you're getting something out of it that you don't get from other relationships in your life. Um, that's kind of why they become important to you. And so with the weight loss of your community, I don't have anyone in my life really who I can talk to about this stuff. I mean, I have, other than my sister, no one else in my life has ever significantly struggled with their weight, like nobody. And then my sister has, but, and, and you know, we do talk about things and I talk about stuff with other people as well, but you know, it gets to a point where they just don't care or they don't understand. They, they just can't understand if they haven't been in your shoes. And with someone who is still struggling with weight, um, I'm sure a lot of you know, you know, that's a sensitive issue and she kind of doesn't, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm rubbing her face in my success because I do think that she sometimes feels that way um, because I won't shut up about it. But anyways, all this to say, it was really lovely to meet Danielle and after meeting her, I hit Wonderland. So um, obviously a good luck charm. Um, highly recommend meeting people. I have, there are people from Instagram that are in the Seattle area, even people on YouTube. And I, I'm like so awkward and don't like reaching out to people, but then it's also really nice. I don't know. I don't even know where I was going with that, but anyways, um, <laughs> I, what else? Oh, I'm getting my labs done on Friday. So I've stopped taking my vitamins. Um, I stopped taking biotin like a week and a half ago. And then I stopped taking all of my vitamins yesterday. So today was my first day without, um, so I stopped taking them for three full days before I get my, uh, labs done. So I have my one year appointment on my actual surge anniversary. So on January 2nd. And so, um, you'll remember if you saw my six month video where I talked about my initial round of labs post-op that there were some, some flags on my iron, nothing that was concerning or that they were worried about or that they thought I needed to change in any way, but something that they just wanted to kind of monitor. So I'm getting some tests redone for that. And I think maybe for cholesterol as well, I think one of those was kind of high, but I know that it's also fairly common. Um, my primary care physician actually told me uh, that she wouldn't be surprised if she saw some issues with cholesterol as you're losing weight. So yes, I'm getting those done on Friday. Um, my work is also having a bake off on Thursday and I'm just mentally preparing myself for eating some shit. <laughs> I'm going to try to be good ish, but like, yeah, it's just not going to happen. Like I'm getting, I'm going to have some things and I'm okay with that. I'm just going to mentally prepare myself for that. Um, and be mindful before and after that, but they're going to be delicious baked goods, like home baked goods. And it's kind of like my favorite thing ever. And that is not the kind of thing that I want to have to give up for the rest of my life at this point. Maybe I'll change my mind eventually, but for now I want to still be able to participate. I am going to be making, uh, I'm going to make a keto thing and a non keto thing. Because I do, I partially because I actually, I used to bake a lot and I have a lot of things like flour and sugar and regular chocolate chips, regular butterscotch, like all these things from baking, you know, that you just kind of have on hand and I kind of want to use them up so that they're no longer on hand. And, uh, so this is actually a good, just a good excuse to do it because, um, there will be plenty of hungry mouths there to eat them. And if I were to just do it on a regular day, I feel like I would end up eating more of them than I should. So yeah. That's a thing. And what else is going on, you guys? I feel like I had all these like deep, insightful things to talk about. And I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> yeah, kind of drawing a blank. I'm still a little bit forward about reaching 199. I kind of didn't think I was going to get there until like, like the 28th or something, like right at the end. Um, and it's just, it's definitely very surreal thinking that, you know, my ultimate, like not even my ultimate, but like my stretch goal, my, the normal, the top range of my normal BMI, right, is 164. So that is like 35 pounds away. That's, you know, it's like so little. Um, and I don't even really know that I want to be there necessarily. Like I've said before, the only reason I really, the, the main reason I want to keep losing weight is so that I have like the best body possible for plastics so that it's safer 
and that I get the best results. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's very weird. I think, I think I've mentioned, I think I'm like a size 12 now based on how my size 14s are fitting me. Uh, but I, I haven't, I haven't been in to try anything on. Um, my largest, my large shirts are actually a little bit loose as well. It's just, it's very weird because I don't feel smaller. But I mean, I, you know, I can see it when I look in photos and then I definitely been getting an increasing number of comments. I think it's, it gets to that point where when you get small enough, it only takes a couple of pounds to be really noticeable. You know, when I was at my high weight, it was like I could lose 30 pounds and you could barely tell. But now I lose five pounds and it's like, wow, you really lost weight. You know, so I think I, you know, I only lost six pounds last month. But it was, you know, a pretty visible difference. Um, and I think the same can be said. And then it's funny, like, I still feel like I still have these little... Uh, that's probably just skin. You know, okay, you know what actually... This is so off topic, sorry. But also on topic, because I was thinking about this in the car this morning, I forgot. One of the ideas for my reward is I've been thinking about getting lip fillers. You know, like lip injections. And I was kind of struggling with the idea of it. And it's actually something I've always wanted to do. Um, I've always wished I had fuller lips. Um, and I don't by any means like hate my lips. I mean, I, I don't really hate anything about my appearance. Um, but as you can tell if you watch my videos, I love wearing lipsticks. I love wearing bright colors and dark colors and vivid, you know, I like making a statement, I like a bold lip. And I've always kind of wished I had a little bit more of a lip to make a statement with. You know, when I smile, it's like you can't even see my lip anymore, my top, especially my upper lip. So I've always kind of wanted, I don't want something like crazy intense, but just something a little bit fuller, a little bit naturally fuller. And I never did it, obviously, I've never done it. And, you know, part of me thinks like, I think at my high weight, I sort of thought like, what's the point? You know, like people are still going to tell you're fat. You know, I think I honestly, I don't know that I really like broke it down that much in my mind, but I do think the power, the reason, one of the big reasons why I didn't do it was like, if you're not going to be thin, like why spend this money on this thing for your appearance when like the big issue, your weight is not being addressed. And I, you know, like we can talk about how fucked up that is that that I had to feel that way, that society makes you feel that way and, and internalized obviously that that shame, but yeah, I've been thinking about maybe doing that. That could be something for my one ninety nine. And there's still part of me that's like, ugh, I feel like I'm becoming that person. And you know, I, and who's what's wrong with being that person? Like, what's wrong with with making a, a small change to something that you that you I can afford to do, and that would make me a little bit more confident and happier with my appearance, and like. That doesn't make me a vain or superficial or shallow person and it doesn't take away from all of the amazing qualities and the thoughtfulness that I possess because I am investing in an external thing. I don't know. It's something that I've been kind of struggling with and I think it's part of just as I'm, as we get smaller, you know, like we take a lot of selfies and, and you know, like a lot of us are accused of being, being vain and feeling ourselves too much and that's never been me and not something that I want to be me. But it is like, you know, you do, I do like how I look more now, you know? And I think you kind of have, you know, it's like, it's, I never had that. And so it's, I don't want to go crazy with it, but I mean, I think it's, it's only natural that, you know, that there's like kind of a period where you're like, feeling yourself. I don't know. It. I don't know if any of this makes sense. I obviously hadn't fully formed my thoughts. I was just thinking about this on the car ride to work this morning as I was mulling over hitting 199. But yeah. Anyways, it's already 15 minutes. God, what's wrong with me? I love you all so much. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for celebrating. Thank you for all your lovely comments on Instagram. Thank you for watching all of my videos, leaving lovely comments, Honestly, just really being great. Um, you know, a lot of you have been here with me for a good long while. And, 
you know, I, find, I, I hit one of the big milestones that, that everyone who gets weight loss surgery wants to get. And, you know, and some, some people um, hit that milestone a little bit sooner than others, depending on height and BMI. But uh, it is one of those, those big ones that I know everyone's really excited to get to, and I am as well. So thank you for being here with me to celebrate that. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing great, and I will talk to you all very soon.